Okay, um, I'm doing a little demonstration of the uh, release mechanism and the solenoid that's associated with that. I've got that wired up um, and a demonstration of the uh, PDI and the uh, intervalometer all working together here. Um, first, I'm going to set my rate and I'm going to set my angle of my mirror below the rate. I'm going to pull up the arming mechanism here, press in the lock. When these two meet, it'll activate the um, intervalometer and it'll pull the solenoid in and release this little tab. There's the emergency release there. So let me rearm that. On the PDI, we'll turn on the uh, servo, make sure the PDI switch is turned on. And as you can see, I've got uh, the stabilizer um, gyro spun up, and I've got this gyro on the head spun up. We can use our little knobs here to, to level level the mirror out. Um, as the aircraft would rotate, you can see the head here stays right on target and the PDI tells the pilot which direction he needs to steer the aircraft to get back on course. You can see it works pretty well there. That's this little um, Indi indicator here uh, tells the P PDI how much to swing either direction. Um, now the intervalometer will select turn this to train. Uh, we'll select our number of bombs. We'll flip on the uh, the head. You see we have our tack turning here. I'll uh, press this uh, knob in here to engage. And as it rises up, they meet. And our intervalometer starts running. We'll try that again here. This time I'll do it without the PDI running here. Reset the mirror. <clears throat> Arm the bomb sight. Start the motor. And engage. <clears throat> you can see the reflex sight is cracking as well. There we go. Just wanted to show you the uh, cool little crosshairs through the uh, reflex sight. If you look down over here. lights in the, uh, the bubbles in the uh, bomb site gyro. Okay, uh, we've got everything powered down and uh, we're going to take off this little uh, mechanism here to take a little closer look at that. Um, these gyros for the stabilizer and the uh, the head here, they'll spin for a good uh, 
15, 20 minutes uh, or longer after, uh, after you power the units down. So there's your spring-loaded plate there. It gets pulled into this solenoid behind it. Uh, when the interpolometer is engaged, then there's your little safety release wire. Right here, um, it's just, just a little spring-loaded set of gears that uh, should automatically release. There should, should always be pressure on there. Uh, if anything's binding in there, there's two screws behind here. Uh, this plate comes off and then you can service that inside. Otherwise, some light oil might help.